Yes, I finally have a true mini quad FPV racer. And I'm really excited. This is the Isheen Wizard X220. And I've read online a lot of different places who have said that this is a good starter drone for someone who has never done FPV racing before. Um, I've done a little FPV flying, but I've not done the racing, and especially not with like a, a quad like this that's modifiable. However, I read up a lot on these. I've looked a lot of other reviews, so at least I can maybe talk intelligently with you guys about this. By the way, it's at this point in time that I would like to thank Rudy of banggood.com who sent me this drone. And then also, he gave me the Isheen 5.8 gigahertz FPV VR goggles here, the EV800. Now these are a pretty budget option. Um, I had mentioned to Rudy, hey, I don't really have any FPV goggles that are analog that I can maybe use with this. And he said, well, I'll send you one. So here we go. So let's open up the Wizard X220 box and see what's inside. All right, so this is the ready to fly version. So it includes pretty much everything that you need to get off the ground today. We have the controller right at the top. This is the FlySky FSI6. Now this is important because my old controller here, the FlySky FST6, has an older uh, receiver and it's not actually going to be compatible with the X220. And we have a couple other bags and stuff. Now I have opened this up already and I have gone through the setup. I did want to be able to talk with you intelligently about it though, so I kind of put everything back the way I remembered it. Um, you have your video antenna there. They also give you some twist ties, some rubber feet for the drones. They also give you a charger. It's gonna charge a 3S battery, not a 4S. Here it is, uh, it's got the purple and black. If you look closely, it has that carbon fiber body with the prop arms that are in an X pattern. There are three ties that I did add to this that you will not see when you unbox yours that are these two right here, which I'll explain later, and then this one, which kind of just holds this battery uh, cable a little bit more tight especially where you want it instead of flopping around. So aside from that, this is exactly how it looks when you take it out of the box. A little bit more wide than it is lengthwise in terms of the X configuration. And the way that everything is all set up here, you have very thick arms that look like they're not gonna be prone to breaking. You don't see a whole lot of cutouts that are unnecessary. So the, the strength of this has not been compromised. That's a good thing. You have your battery strap here, which uh, feels like it's going to hold things together pretty well. The inside has a little bit of a grippiness to it, so you're not going to have a battery that flies out easily. The only dangling wire in here is going to be your little receiver wire. So this is uh, going to be connecting to your receiver. So if you purchase the ready to fly version that has the FlySky FSI6, it will also come with this receiver. This is the FSIA6B. And this is how you will be able to control your drone. So you have two antennas that kind of stick out. And that is what I'm going to affix to some of these ties here that I've added. Just to kind of make them stick right out of the drone. Because if uh, these were inside the drone with the antennas, you would not really be able to control your drone very well. You'd, you wouldn't have very good signal strength. So um, good to have them sticking out. Now you do have these little nuts that go on top of the props. I guess you probably get these separated in a little baggie as well. But I didn't want to lose them, so I put them on. Uh, right before I started this unboxing. You have your camera with a little lens cap. Very nice. And you can adjust the tilt of it very easy. It seems to stick where you put it as well. That's good. Now it feels solid. I mean the body here is, is has many pieces to it, but we're all kind of uh, screwed in here with these six screws. By the way, you also have your micro USB port there. So if you want to go into your Betaflight program and do some manual tweaking, you definitely can. We see on the back that we have our video antenna uh, connection right there. There you can see the 48 channel uh, video transmitter right there. And you can see that I've already kind of peeled back that plastic a little bit to access the frequency controls. You also have little LED lights underneath each motor. You have your four ESCs right there. Uh, a 3S battery is supposed to come with this as well. However, since they shipped this from, I think, China? They didn't want to ship a battery to me, so I bought my own battery. This is a this is a Tattoo 3S battery. Let's see what else you get. You also get some extra bolts just in case you lose them or need more. And then of course you have your wrenches to take off your props if needed. Finally, they give you a bunch of props. I think there are 10 pairs, pretty sure anyway. Okay, I want to open this up and let you guys see inside. So I'm going to use an Allen wrench and I'm using a 564 inch Allen wrench. All right, looks like we are ready to take this off. You can see inside, I do also have another 
little tie here, and that's actually to hold my receiver because, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the receiver is not inside currently. Um, although sometimes it might ship with the receiver inside, so you just have to check. But regardless, that's a way that I'm going to hold the receiver in. Now you can take these side walls off just to see a little more what we're doing. Um, that is the FP Racing F3 flight controller right there. And uh, it's running Beta Flight 3.0.1. Uh, it could be more updated, and you could update it if you'd like. Um, and I hear that there's you know newer versions out there, but for now I think we're we're going to be okay with 3.0.1 at least for my uses today. You can also get a little bit better uh, shot of that video transmitter. Um, you can see I peeled away that, and I'm selecting a certain frequency that I went off another YouTube video to find. So um, it's at this point that I am going to attach the receiver right here, my FS. IA6B. It's a six channel receiver. And what I did before, and this is something that really no one I saw do, but I think it's okay, is I slip one of the antenna under there and one on the other side. I'm going to slide the receiver underneath this tie that I had tied earlier. There's actually two ties connected to each other, and it loops underneath the drone. And then we can connect our receiver cable from our flight controller to our PPM channel one slot right there. So this is a PPM um, flight controller to receiver and that's because we're using our FlySky FSI6. So the white wire is on top, black wire is on the bottom in this PPM slot right there. Okay. Uh, UAV Futures gave me the idea to uh, take the receiver antenna and basically use black electrical tape to affix it to a little tie there that I've attached to the frame on top. One more thing I'm going to do is take this Velcro band and move it to this slot as opposed to this slot because now that I'm using my receiver antenna right there and poking them out, this won't be very well held down. See? So I want to be able to put it here instead, and that way it'll be uh, wrapping the battery in the middle of the battery as opposed to holding onto the end of it like that. I'm also going to add the uh, video antenna on, and I've heard that it's really bad to plug a battery into one of these things without having your video antenna because then you could end up burning out your video transmitter. So that would be really, really bad. Now, if you do want to get a different type of antenna, this is an RP SMA. So if you wanted to put a different, better type of antenna or something like that, you definitely could. Just keep that in mind. Now, to set up the receiver here to talk with our radio, we have to use a little jumper lead. And this actually comes with uh, this kit. And uh, basically, you connect that to the very opposite side of the receiver here. Receiver wire on, the, on this side. On the very opposite side, we're going to put our jumper lead. And now we have both ends of this with a cable attached to it. All right, now we can power on the drone because we have our antenna screwed on properly. Let's use our little Tattoo 3S. And we see that we have a blinking light on our receiver. Now while that's blinking, we got our controller, press our bind button right there, hold it, and Start our controller. Oops. There we go. Now, there are a couple processes in here that you can select different modes to do different things, as well as going through beta flight uh, program. I'm not going to go through all that. There are videos that I've learned how to do that process from on YouTube, and I'm not going to try and pretend that it's my information or, you know, that I'm come to any grand conclusion myself. Just check out those videos about setting up beta flight but regardless, one of the main things that I was able to do is to be able to arm the drone by using this SWD switch right here. We're spinning. Now, I would probably not have to tell you why it's important to not have the props on when you do something like that. Um, you never know. <laughs> so, just something to keep in mind. Let's take off the battery because we're successively bound to our controller. We're going to take off the jumper lead. We can just uh, put this aside, but keep it just in case you ever have to do it again. Let's put the antenna through the top 
right there. These are the antenna of our receiver. And we're going to uh, screw this back down. Now that our screws are on, what I'm going to do is take these antenna, stuff some of the excess back down inside, and then I'm going to uh, basically electrical tape the antenna to these protruding ties. Again, I can't take credit for that idea. Go check out UAV Futures YouTube channel. Learn. There we go. I almost dare say mine look better than his. When they come with some foam feet here, I'm gonna put them right on, this, on the arms here. I'm not gonna put it on the LED light or anything because I do wanna be able to see those and also maybe service this if need be. There we go. Bam. Feels better putting it down on the table too. All right, so we're, let's put on the battery, and I do want to also show you something I got here. This is a, a LiPo battery voltage tester and buzzer alarm. So when you get low voltage on your battery after a couple minutes, this thing will start beeping at you very, very loudly. There's two little horn speakers here, it looks like. And it'll tell you what your voltage is at. Now, I've plugged this in a few times as I've done demonstrations here. So it's going through number one, number two, and number three cell. And it's giving me a 0 0.13, 0 0.9, 0 0.13. This will definitely start chirping at you and you'll know when to bring it down because this, this particular uh, quadcopter does not have any such built-in alarm. Now the way that I've been doing it is actually stuffing it in underneath the battery. And that, that seems to be the only good place that I can find that's not going to be in the way of anything else that's close in proximity so you can get this cable you know, up and, and attached to it and also doesn't really affect the drone center of gravity. There's one more thing that we have to set up though. These, remember those? Yeah. Very simple, very light. There's your DC five volt input for, for power and then we're gonna screw in our antenna there. These goggles have a 800 by 480 pixel resolution. And these have a pretty comfortable, um, you know, face sponge is what they call it on the website. They actually also have a little threaded attachment hole, so you can put this onto some sort of stand and then separate it like this and use it as a monitor that other people can watch right in there. Now that's a pretty cool little feature. Okay, so there is an image of what it's seeing. Huh. And there I am. What's up? Now look at that. Look at, there's like no latency. I'm not used to that at all. You know, working with DJI drones and stuff and Wi-Fi controlled drones. Oh, this is amazing. I can't wait to get this out in the field. Let's do this. The Isheen X220 Wizard. I'm really excited to try this out. For the price point, it's amazing. And I've, I've really looked at a bunch of different reviews and videos on the internet and everyone seems to um, kind of say the same thing. It's a really good bang for your buck. So thank you to banggood.com for sending me this. Let's go out to fly and see what this thing can do and, and what I can do as well, because it's gonna be my maiden voyage.